We will take them. <laughs> Matt Luna, Mark Santee, California Pro. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are out of Lake Havasu for the first day of the Major League Fishing Toyota Series event out here on Lake Havasu. Excited to be out here. Practice has been brutal though. I've literally caught five fish in five days. Um, the fish just are in this weird funky mood where they just don't want to eat anything, it seems like. Caught a couple good ones in practice and hopefully we got enough clues from the bites that we did get in order to go out here and uh, run some water and catch a couple fish and bring in a limit to the scales. Um, big thank you to GCI Outdoor, Six Sense Fishing, Waterland Fishing Optics, and Dual Molds for making it possible for me to be out here to make this video for you guys and to fish these events. Without them, I would not be out here, would not be doing this. But uh, it's almost blast off. They're gonna start counting boat numbers and doing the national anthem here pretty soon. So we're gonna get ready to go and we'll be out there and uh, wish me luck. morning update is the bite's still brutal hasn't changed <laughs> for me um, trying to run everything that I got bit doing in practice and it's not working at all so we're gonna have to change things up and uh, just keep grinding it out and just hopefully stumble upon something and uh, put some fish in this boat So I officially got my first bite of the day. It's one o'clock and a small egg came up and tried to eat my little darter head swim bait combo. Actually bit it. I saw the big old brown blob behind my bait after I got the bite and it just didn't eat it all the way. And fortunately, we're not bringing that guy to the scales right now. as big as I thought but we will take that one <laughs> can't believe that's such a bummer for you you just had that one on well we finally got on the board guys took all day took till two o'clock so not a good thing but at least we got one my co-angler just lost it looked like a good large mouth on like a Ned rig or something. But uh, just the same little spot, these two fish just ate right at the same exact time, it was crazy. There's one. There's one. Striper, ah, dang it. You want him in the boat? I got him. Okay. Oh man. Probably. I 
got me going. Oh, my camera's on. Got me going, but that's not what we need. Are we still going? Oh, part of me thinks we should stay in this spot for some reason, but I don't know. We fished it twice and no bites. There we go. Be a keeper, please. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, stay on fish. Well, that was heartbreaking. We just literally lost three and a half, four pound smallmouth. It's coming to the boat, doing its thing, pulling drag, and hook just comes flying out. Out of nothing I could have done. It's just fishing, but it's definitely frustrating. Pretty brutal. That one I lost is gonna haunt me for sure. Really frustrating. You can't you can't let fish like that come off. I wish I would have figured out the darter head thing sooner. It's something I like to do. I should have been doing it all day long, and I probably could have caught a couple fish for sure in the morning and really had a better day. Probably gonna do that a lot more tomorrow. But we'll have to see. We're gonna go weigh in our one fish. It's probably like two pounds. It's nothing crazy, but uh, we'll see. Santee, California Pro, put one fish for your bag today. I love it, little dog's thirsty. We got one for the pro, Matt Luna, is gonna go three pounds even. Three pounder, on the dot. Oh, you got one? Yeah, I got one. There you go, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well guys, I'm back at the hotel and tough day overall. Only weighed one fish, it was a three pounder, but crazy enough that puts me in 73rd place. We got 104 boats I heard in the tournament. One fish, one three pounder puts me in 73rd place. Um, I, need to, I need to catch them tomorrow. I saw some things today that make me think I got a chance to actually catch them. Um, the fish seemed to move up. I saw a lot of good fish come after my baits in the afternoon today. I had that three and a half, four pound smallmouth you guys saw come off um, at the boat, which is heartbreaking. That would have been a giant, giant boost. That would have easily put me, you know, mid pack, maybe even higher than mid pack. But um, I think I realistically saw either hooked or saw the fish in the water 
or bit my bait, I saw 15 pounds of fish today and um, the wind just wasn't there enough when I first started throwing that swim bait, but that's that's what I need to do tomorrow. We're gonna have some wind, so I'm gonna have some other baits tied up and ready to go too. The jerk bait could be a player if they go shallow enough, um, but I'm excited to go out there tomorrow. Tomorrow is like literally the first day that I'm actually really excited to go fishing out here this entire trip since I realized it was incredibly tough out here. But big thank you to GCI Outdoor, Six Sense Fishing, Waterland Fishing Optics, and Do It Molds. They made it possible if you, for me to be out here to, to make this content for you guys, so please support those companies. It would mean the world to me for your support of those companies. Discount codes are down in the description of today's video, and also the affiliate link to do molds is down there as well. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow. See ya.